Um, your thoughts on the group heading to St. Louis? They're off first year club, off to a great start. Yeah, you know they're they're, uh, they're off to a great start, and, and it's funny because their sporting director made the statement they don't have any DPs, and you know early on that kind of the team is the DP is the concept, and I think when you look at them, that is that defines them. They do have DPs, but the reality of their success for me is that that every player steps on the field and they play within the structure. They play. They do the little things, they stay connected, they work together, they make the game difficult on the opposition, they really utilize transitions very well, uh, and they're a unit, and uh, that makes them tough to beat. Uh, and inside of making themselves tough to beat, they, they are starting to they punish teams in, uh, in various ways, you know, in transition. So they're just, they're just a, uh, a simple, everybody does the little things well, like I said, and, and as a collective, that makes them very difficult to, to beat, and it's also given them opportunities uh, to punish teams and hurt teams. Tony, you want to get jump in, or are you good? Or? No, I'm good. All right. I'm good. Good job. Yeah. All right. Uh, in, oh. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Injury-wise, you know, Memo was out for yeah. his last game. What's his status for this one here? Yeah, he, he, said he, won't be on a, he won't be available yet. He didn't train today, and uh, it's something that gets in the quad, but it's not muscular. It's more fascial, I think they say, or facial, whatever that is. Uh, and so it, it's not long term, but it is. It's probably you know probably, it's going to be for this game, and then hopefully he'll be able to return by the next one. Um, Sega is still in in return to play mode and trying to get him into a good decent position. I'm trying to think of who else. I think more or less everybody else is back in the equation. Uh, and it's hobby. Um, as you talk about Dayon and Preston, what have you liked out of him so far this season, and what can this I guess another opportunity to grow him, help him grow uh, for the rest of the season. Yeah, you know, I think as it as it relates to Dayon, uh, I think his capacity to work and, and his desire to obviously to score, his willingness to make runs, uh, you know, his his attempt, I think, to do the right things is uh, and at times really doing the right things is all kind of there, right? It's it's about how it. It's always about how it connects with the group and uh, and then how we can turn him into a goal scorer that we know he's capable of being. And that's not just an individual thing. It's a really, for me, it's a collective thing. And one of the challenges that I think we've presented with a lot of our forwards is, you know, it's everywhere that our two guys are hitting a ton of line breaking passes. Like I see this everywhere. But when the line breaking passes go straight through the middle, uh, it's very difficult for the forward to figure out how to move, where to move to create a dangerous scenario in those situations. So I, I think the way we help our forwards to become more dangerous is yes, we need to break lines, but then we need to be able to get to wide areas to then create some clarity for our forwards and how they can move in front of the goal to then receive balls coming from angles versus balls coming from straight positions. And so again, I think we can help our forwards out um, by where and how we build our attacks. You know, we, we're sometimes we're just so central and, and we need to bring the angles into the game, which is going to make it a lot easier for our forwards to become more dangerous. We need to bring the depth into the game, which forces center backs a little deeper, which opens up spaces for our forwards to move. And so, again, it's not just for those guys, but you know, Dayon's intentions are good. You know, he has he has a desire to score, he has a capacity to do work, he has the finishing ability and technique. It's about how all of it connects inside of our group, how we connect with him, and how he connects with the rest of the group. To create those situations where they can, they can. Uh, when I say they, it doesn't matter if it's Preston or Javi or or Dan, where they can become the strikers and goal scorers that we need them to be. Because if everyone else is having to score the goals, uh, I don't know how sustainable that can be for winning a lot of games um, over the course of a season. We have to get those guys involved, and so uh, that's the way I believe that we need to get them involved. Thanks for coming, Greg. Yeah, thank you.